Here's Wing Chun, effective orientated, like low kicks, eye gouges. So this guy popped up onto my TikTok and he talks a lot of rubbish. So let's start with those eye gouges. Is Wing Chun illegal in MMA? It is definitely Yeah mate, I think you're a tit. His argument makes no sense whatsoever. You are talking about why Wing Chun is illegal in MMA, but then yet you put over something like Olympic wrestling. You could have gone the route of just explaining how Tony Ferguson and uh, Anderson Silva have used Wing Chun techniques. But yet again, they don't use... Wing Chun as a system, just using some techniques because those concepts work. Cross-training is the key. You say how the fighters were hand-picked. You say how they didn't pick somebody like of Olympic wrestling caliber. When you say Olympic wrestling, you probably mean freestyle. Did you know that freestyle wrestling derives from catch-as-catch-can wrestling, a British form of wrestling? The same style of wrestling that carried over to Japan and had a massive influence on the pro wrestling scene. So much so, you got shoot-style pro wrestling. You got Shuto that was developed from it. Pancrase, hybrid wrestling. The idea being making pro wrestling a legitimate sport again. The basis was, of course, grappling, wrestling, submissions. Who came from Pancrase? Ken Shamrock. Who fought in the finals? Hoist Gracie and Ken Shamrock. Gracie Jiu-Jitsu came on top. Catches catch can wrestling was literally the direct competitor to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Catches catch can wrestling and what you refer to as Olympic wrestling are very closely related. Your argument's invalid. But then you use uh, some modern rules to back up your argument with an old school example like UFC 1. If you've watched the first UFC, there was some German asshole who kicked. Like the sumo wrestler's teeth, like to the front row. That sumo wrestler's knee was on the ground. Well, there goes your uh, against the rules example there. And the first UFCs were wild. I mean, remember Joe Sun, uh, who played Random Task from uh, Awesome Powers? He got pinned down by Keith Hackney and got his balls beaten. Like, Keith Hackney was not holding back. He was punching Joe Sun's balls repeatedly. It wasn't a legal move back then. It wasn't. And if we go to more modern examples, Yuki Nakai also got eye gouged by said German asshole, but still proceeded to win the fight. Eye gouges mean nothing. Remember that fight with Jillian Robertson? Uh, happened not too long ago. Got the rear naked choke, was starting to get her eye gouged, and the ref didn't stop it. She still won via submission. No long term damage on the eye. Once again, your eye gouges don't matter. Your argument collapses on itself. You're a tit. Is Wing Chun effective? You gotta look at what context. Okay, so literally in the previous video, we just talked about um, how your argument doesn't make sense. So if you teach Wing Chun for sport, then why haven't you adapted that sports style of Wing Chun for MMA? Like karate, for instance. So with say karate, uh, Lyoto Mashida, Conor McGregor, good examples. They have adapted that style to MMA, but that came with some cross training. Lyoto Mashida actually went to Antonio Inoki in Japan to improve or to cross train. Once again, pro wrestling has uh, more of a legitimate background than your argument. Bas Rutan was originally taught in Muay Thai, karate and Taekwondo. Guy's got like the highest uh, striking accuracy in the history of UFC. You do know you get sports jujitsu and of course you get jujitsu for MMA. There is a subtle difference between the two. Also, there's a difference between wrestling and wrestling for MMA. There's also a difference between boxing for the sake of boxing and boxing for MMA. You see where I'm going with this. Certain adaptations have to be made for those styles for it to work effectively in the sport of MMA. 
So the logical thing to do to maybe show the efficacy of Wing Chun against other styles is to actually find someone who has managed to adapt it for MMA. That whole thing of eye gouging doesn't work. That can be easily disproven. Um, grabbing the balls, I mean, come on. Like, if you have to resort to dirty techniques the whole time, then the efficacy of your art um, is probably not that effective. Just remember, the main part of the sport is to knock the other person out or strangle them to pass out. So what do the dirty moves actually matter? But is it effective? I mean, there have been some fighters that have adapted Wing Chun techniques to work in, say, kickboxing, boxing, and MMA. But it being applied as a system, that's a different story. Basically, this video that you posted and the one that we previously covered, they contradict each other. 